Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous summer day here in the end times, here on this hot, sticky, yes, what are we looking at? 80 degrees and probably climbing here on this hot, sticky, beautiful summer day in the end times. Wednesday, every December 28th or 29th, somewhere in there, 2016, I'm going to bring you my climate change meltdown roundup rant here on this 80 degree December day in a minute. But before I get into that, I just want to tip of my straw hat to, uh, I don't know if he's the newest member of the tribe, but welcome aboard, brother. Some guy by the name of Technetizen. Technetizen. This is his, my res his response to my rant about the UN yesterday, that an eco-Nazi looks at the UN. And I just want to thank Technetizen's comment. This is one of the single most spot-on analyses of what's going on on this planet that I have ever received in five years. Thank you, Technetizen, for explaining this to us. <clears throat> It is inevitable. The current social order and the so-called civilization that it constructed is going to collapse regardless. Whether or not it is worth saving is debatable. What you see around you in the world is the accumulated result of the hereditary elitism of the wealthy and powerful, conquest and slavery rather than enlightenment, compassion for people, and intelligent management of resources. Who is in command and has all the power to mold the world and society in their image is plain to see, and it is not the intelligent and caring who want to work toward a world that is a desirable and healthy place for all to live in. The fact that just a few billionaires are in control of half, I would say more than half, the world's resources should already tell you what kind of social system we live in and what it considers important above all else and what to expect of this world and of the future when it all comes crashing down. Thank you for uh, summing up in one comment what uh, I have been talking about for five and a half years in Humpty Dumpty Try. I was glad I am. It's just so refreshing to find uh, someone who is not a clueless fucking moron. And I will say there was not one single spelling or grammatical error anywhere in that entire comment. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He, he even understands the difference between ITS and IT apostrophe S, putting him in a very small club, even smaller than the club of billionaires that own this planet. And of course, now the billionaires that own this planet have put one of their own, one of their own will soon be the President of the United States, he and his billionaire buddies who already own over half of this planet's resources will now, they are licking their chops for an even bigger bite of the pie. But we will have plenty of time to talk about that 
as 2017 dawns. But I'm going to wrap up this little rantlet and say thank you, brother. Uh, amen. And come back at you with my final climate meltdown roundup rant for 2016 here on this 80 degree December day in the end times. Be right back at you. Bye, guys.